Let me guess. You're determined to be healthy. You're so ready to chow down your salad and hit the gym. But it's just so hard to give up some of those foods you love. Am I right? I totally hear you. You're talking to the girl that eats chocolate every single day. But I also know it's important to balance all of those extra things that we crave. And we don't want to feel like total junk just because we can't give up our cookies. So today, I'm going to share seven of my favorite healthy swaps to help you still enjoy all of the foods that you love, but not ride that blood sugar roller coaster, not feel like you need a nap all day, and still reach your health goals. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Lion Share Wellness, to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the nutrition and wellness tips that I bring to you weekly. So let's dive in. I'm going to give you seven healthy swaps for some things that you might be craving. The first one is if you're craving ice cream. Let's see. I honestly, before this video, have not even looked at the ingredients, but now that I'm looking at the ingredients, there are about... 45 of ingre 45 ingredients. The second one is corn syrup, which is the sugar. I also see here sugar, invert sugar, fructose, dextrose, another sugar, high fructose corn syrup, uh, another high fructose corn syrup. All of these are sugar. And in fact, there's only eight grams of added sugar, but does anyone ever eat the half cup serving size that the ice cream box says no? So this added sugar is adding up probably a lot more than we realize. There's a bunch of other stuff in here. There's artificial colors, artificial preservatives. There is wheat flour. There's so much in here that's not going to make us feel our best. So do I have a swap for you? If you have never tried Active Stacks Protein, this is the best way to make a nightly protein shake. I call this my Wendy's Frosty or my nightly milkshake or something like that. It is what helped me stay out of the ice cream jar or ice cream box or ice cream carton on the days when I really didn't want to or know that was, knew that wasn't going to make me feel the best. So all you have to do is blend a scoop of this with some ice. I like a little pinch of sea salt and some unsweetened fla or unflavored milk. If you like to use milk, you can use milk. I like to use unsweetened flax milk, almond milk, something like that. The texture of this thing is amazing. It's frothy, it's sweet, it's delicious. In fact, just hold on. Mm, it's so good. I wanna cut off this video right now and just savor my milkshake, but I'm gonna keep going. That is number one. I have a discount code for Active Stacks. If you wanna try this protein that I will post below for you. Second one is pasta. I mean, who doesn't love a bowl of pasta, right? But pasta is all refined carbohydrates. In fact, most of it is enriched flour that doesn't even have any nutrients or very little fiber to slow down that huge blood sugar spike. So this tastes good in the moment, but it's going to make you feel bloated, lethargic, maybe not sleep well, have more cravings, uh, and potentially not reach your health goals if you eat it all the time. If you want your pasta or your ice cream or anything we're going to go through today every once in a while, more power to you. I want you to do that too, but we're talking about on a daily basis. These are some healthy swaps, so I've got a lot for you here. I love miracle noodles. These are also called shirataki noodles. They're made from cognac flour. They are very low carb, low calorie. This says five calories per serving. There's only two servings in here, so 10 calories for the whole bag. Let's be honest, they taste like nothing, but if you put some pesto or some marinara sauce or some olive tapenade or whatever you like to put on your pasta on top of here, this is a great texture uh, to mimic actual pasta. So definitely recommend Miracle Noodles. These do have some flavor. These are palmini noodles. The only ingredients here are hearts of palm. There's a little bit of citric acid, which is fine. Water, fine. Sea salt, fine. But mainly hearts of palm. So if you've ever had hearts of palm before, they do have a little bit of a bite. These are not flavorless like the Miracle Noodles are, but if you're doing a flavor combination that can handle a little bit of tartness, tanginess, acidity, these are an awesome substitute. The texture here is great as well. 
And then finally, pow pasta is made from lentils or bonza pasta made from chickpeas. These are all pretty much similar products. These do have a little bit more carbs um, than the other ones, but if you're looking for something bready like pasta or having that similar mouthfeel, this is a great alternative with high fiber, high protein, and only ingredients here, red lentil flour, organic quinoa flour, none of those preservatives, none of the enriching process, none of that. All right, next up, number three is cookies. So, I mean, let's be honest, these look good. Soft baked cookies, confetti. But when I looked at the ingredients, I saw that enriched flour again that is not gonna make us feel good. Of course, we got sugar and fructose and high fructose corn syrup and all kinds of sugars in here. For two cookies, there's 11 grams of added sugar, but again, no one eats just two of these little cookies. So you're probably talking almost as much sugar as a can of Coke if you eat a normal serving size. Also concerning here are all these colorings, blue one, red 40, yellow five, yellow six, red three, a lot of things that we don't want to put in our body on a consistent basis. So I've got great substitutes for you. Number one, these enlightened keto dough bites. Oh my goodness, let me just show you the consistency of these guys. Well, I guess I can't show you the consistency on the video, but the size of these guys, they're little bitty bites. Poppable, snackable, so sweet, so tasty. And because they're rich in protein and, and healthy fat, they will keep you more full for longer. Second option here is high key cookies. These cookies are keto friendly, they're grain free. They are one of these healthier options. I'm not gonna say they're a healthy option because there are some natural flavors in here. There is some whey protein concentrate, which is okay. There's some erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol that can cause bloating in excess. There are some things that are not like kale, but they're gonna be still healthier for you than those other cookies I showed you before, and they taste amazing as well. I always run tests with my blood sugar monitor, and I was somewhat skeptical of these guys, but they really do keep the blood sugar stable. There are many little cookies like this. This chocolate flavor is just outstanding, so highly recommend those high-key cookies as a substitute. Next up, cereal. Now, I'm gonna to be totally honest, I forgot to buy an unhealthy cereal as I went to the store, so meh, oops. But you can just imagine all of the cereals that you might have grown up with as a kid. They taste good, they taste sweet. You can't stop at one bowl and then you're hungry 30 minutes later. That's that blood sugar roller coaster all again happening to us. So two substitutes here for you. Number one, same brand as the cookies, high key. These are frosted flavor, but there are several different flavors. This one has milk protein isolate. So if you're sensitive to dairy, this is not one for you. Although High Key does have a plant-based alternative that you could try instead, but they're sweetened with allulose, which doesn't have impact on your blood sugar, as well as monk fruit and stevia. These have no, zero, big ol' zero added sugar. Um, and it tastes really great. It almost tastes too sweet for me, which having grown up on Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I can't believe I'm saying, but there it is. Here it's a different alternative, Three Wishes cereal. These ingredients are cleaner. So the only ingredients are chickpea, tapioca, pea protein, organic cane sugar, eh, not my favorite, but there's only three grams, which is a lot better than most traditional cereals. Natural flavors, again, eh, but we're talking about healthier options here, so I will take it. And then monk fruit, which is a healthy sweetener. This one is not as sweet as the high key, but it's still really tasty. So tell me in the comments, what was your favorite cereal as a child? If I had bought one and showed you here, what should I have bought? <laughs> that probably wasn't the healthiest thing. Let me know in the comments what your favorite cereal was and what you would substitute it for now. All right, let's talk yogurt. I just went to the grocery store and picked up what I thought would be like a healthy yogurt. This says YoPlay Whips Light and Fluffy Low Fat Yogurt. I was like, hmm, okay, looks relatively healthy. I turn it around, eee! 22 grams of sugar. 
18 of those grams are added sugar in this little carton that is marketed as a healthy breakfast. There's a bunch of other stuff in here too that I don't want to be putting in my body on a daily basis. It's really those 18 grams of sugar that get me. So then I was like, okay, let's look at some of the plant-based alternatives. Dairy-free is gonna be a little less inflammatory, so that could be a good substitute. But this one too, 16 grams of added sugar in this dairy-free almond milk yogurt alternative mango flavored. So no thank you to those 16 grams of sugar. Let's talk about some alternatives. If you're looking for a uh, flavored dairy-based yogurt, I love the Siggy's lower sugar yogurt. Now, by the way, if you get plain, unsweetened, organic Greek yogurt, that is the best of all worlds. I am not giving you that as a substitute today because let's be honest, if you're used to something that tastes like this, something that tastes like plain Greek yogurt is gonna be a little bit much to start out with. So these are baby steps, but don't worry, uh, they're still healthy. This one has six grams of sugar, only four of those are added sugar. It's Siggy's, the new lower sugar version. So that's an option for you. Um, this triple zero, can you see it? There we go, triple zero Oikos is my husband's favorite. This is sweetened with stevia, so I will take it. This is another great option, two good yogurt. These are, again, things that are not quite as healthy as the plain, organic, unsweetened Greek yogurt, but these are really nice steps in the right direction. If you're going dairy-free, Coco Yo, I could not recommend more highly. The only ingredients here are raw young coconut, raw young coconut water, probiotic cultures, and 100% pure love. So Coco Yo, definitely recommend that. And then Nancy's Oat Milk. This actually has some plant-based protein added, so it's not as um, carby as some of the other oat milk yogurts, and there's zero sugar at all and the consistency is really great. So those are some yogurt substitutes. I've got two more for you, Nature Valley bars. I know we were told these were healthy over and over and over again, but all this sugar, 11 grams of added sugar, The there's no protein, there's very little healthy fat to balance it out. So this is a blood sugar roller coaster waiting to happen unless you're about to go for a run or something like that then fine go for these but otherwise that's not going to set you up for success so three bar alternatives that i love the garden of life organic fit bar this is high protein 14 grams of protein 14 grams of fiber and only one gram of sugar with clean ingredients no cow bar for anyone well this one doesn't have dairy either but another one without any dairy because a lot of the healthier protein bars do have dairy which can bloat a lot of people so no cow bar 21 grams of protein 16 grams of fiber and a big whopping zero added sugar this one um tastes a little bit softer and i really like the taste and then finally better bar btr bar this one has slightly less protein, but is full of adaptogens like maca and a bunch of other healthy items that can keep you energized for your workout coming up, that can keep you energized all throughout the day. It has no gluten, no dairy. Let's see how much sugar, zero grams of added sugar, two grams of total sugar, and not as much protein as the others with eight grams. Uh, but this still keeps the blood sugar stable and is a great alternative. So last one to talk about today, I am all about bananas. If you love bananas, fine, snack on a banana. But when I hear my clients saying, oh, I just tossed like three bananas in a smoothie, this is a lot of sugar. You're basically drinking a sugar smoothie instead of a fruit smoothie. So if you're using half a banana, great. If you're using a banana and it's balanced out with protein and fiber, great. But if you're putting a bunch of bananas in your smoothie, that's too much sugar to keep you feeling amazing. Now, this one's not gonna sound true, but I promise you it is. Frozen cauliflower in the smoothie makes it creamy, gives it the same consistency as that banana. And if you're using any other fruit, I like to use half a pear or half cup of blueberries or even a flavored protein powder or something like that, that's going to uh, provide all the sweetness that you need. So try that frozen cauliflower 
in your smoothie. Now, right now, let me know which of these seven is your favorite or is the swap that you're going to try next. Let's do that. Put it in the comments. Which swap are you going to try next? I am so proud of you. You've made it through all of these seven healthy swaps. It's time to get grocery shopping. I've posted a bunch of the links to these products that we talked about below so you can check them out. Now, one more thing, because you made it all the way through this video, I know you're committed to your health. You're always looking for the latest and the greatest and the fun, healthy swaps that you can use to enjoy your life and enjoy your food while still staying healthy. And if that's you, I wanna help you go from discouraged and disempowered and frustrated with your health and help you feel energized and supported and motivated and accountable and empowered and all those amazing words. And that's what my Revitalize Health Accelerator does. So if you're looking for a little boost, a great combination of information, motivation, and accountability in a super supportive community, then set up time on my calendar. You can see the link below grab a slot completely free. Let's chat about your goals and see if the Revitalized Health Accelerator can help you out. Thanks again for watching my friends. Your next steps are to grab a spot on my calendar to talk about Revitalize below. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see any other products. If you want some healthy swaps for any new products that I can make a new video for, I'm happy to help you out. And be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button to be sure you don't miss out on any future videos that I'm going to create for you. I hope you have an amazing day and you enjoy some of the healthier swaps that we talked about today.